hello today in this video we are going to learn about region code let us learn what a region code is and also we will be learning at how to set a region code with regard to a window let us assume that this is our window in our previous video we have already learnt what a window is or what a clip window is so a region code is set with respect to this window let us see how this is done to set the region code we have to divide the screen into nine parts if this is our window then we can divide the left boundary like this we can divide the right boundary like this we can divide the top boundary like this and we can divide the bottom boundary like this this will create nine areas 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 now we know how these nine areas are created now let us set the region code code is a 4 bit code how can we set this 4 bit code it's very simple using a b r l format a represents above bit b represents below bit r represents right bit and l represents left bit depending upon whether a region lies above the window right of the window left of the window or below the window we set appropriately how this works let us first talk about this region so when this particular region is considered we know that this is our window and window is neither above it is neither below it is neither left neither right so the code of window is 0 0 0 0 what about the code of this field this region lies above the window so out of the four bits first bit corresponds to the above bit so since this region is above the window first bit will be set to 1 but this is not below the window it is neither right nor left of the window so all other bits will be 0 what about this region this region lies to the right of the window so it is not above it is not below the window it lies to the right of the window but it does not lies to the left of the window so if a area lies to the right of the window then right bit will be set to 1 if an area lies above the window then the above bit will be set to 1 using this property we can find the code of all the nine regions let us do one more example I am going to find the code of this region we know that this particular region lies to the left side at the same time this region is above the window since it is above the window above bit will be 1 it is not below the window so below bit will be 0 this region does not lie right to the window so right bit will be 0 but this region lies to the left of the window so left bit will be 1 so using this property let us find the codes region codes of all the nine regions so this is how it looks like these are the code region codes of nine different areas so from this it is clear 
if a code is given to you let it be 1010 if a code is given to you just by seeing this code you can easily identify which area it is since the above bit is 1 and the right bit is 1 we can identify that this code corresponds to an area which lies above the window at the same time it lies to the right side of the window so this is top right side of the window okay let us proceed to the next section now we are going to see how to find the region code of a point if a point is given to you how can you find the region code of that point let us take an example if we are considering p1 from the picture it is clear that p1 lies to the left of the window from the picture p2 lies above the window p3 lies to the right side of the window and p4 lies below the window so in this way to identify in which area a particular point lies using its region code how to find the region code of a point let us take a point and the sample point b xy i'm going to talk about a point xy so to check the region code of this point xy we need to check this point against each of the boundaries so first we will be checking the condition x less than x w min which means we are checking if the value of x in this point lies before this left boundary i repeat if the value of x in this point is less than x minimum then definitely it lies outside the left boundary is it so if x less than x minimum we can say that particular point lies outside the left boundary so the left bit should be set equal to 1 but if the condition is false that means the value of x in the point is not less than x w min which means x is not lying outside the left boundary if the condition is false then l bit should be set equal to 0 clear let us move on to the second condition again taking the same point this time i am checking whether this point lies outside the right boundary if the x in this point if the x in this point is greater than the right boundary that means if x is greater than x maximum then surely this point lies outside the right boundary we can say if x is greater than x w max it indicates that the point lies outside the right boundary and hence the right bit should be set to 1 if the condition is false then right bit should be set to 0 moving on to the third condition third condition says that from the point x y from the point x y this time we are going to take the value y i'm going to check if y lies within the window or does it lies outside the window so first i will be checking the value of y against top boundary let us check if y is less than y minimum if the value of y in this point is less than y minimum then surely that point lies above the window if 
y is less than y w min y lies outside the above window so if the condition is true above bit should be set equal to 1 if the condition is false above bit should be set equal to 0 similarly if the value of y in the point x y here if y is greater than y maximum that means this is the bottom boundary of the window if the value of y lies outside the bottom boundary it is indicated by y greater than y maximum so definitely if value of y is greater than y maximum it clearly indicates that y lies outside the bottom boundary in such a case we can say that if it lies outside the bottom boundary then bottom value bottom bit should be set to 1 if the condition is false then the bit should be set equal to 0 so there are four different conditions there are four different conditions first one x less than x min it is a condition which checks whether the point lies outside the left boundary second condition x greater than x maximum it checks whether the point lies outside the right boundary next y less than y minimum it checks whether the point lies above the um, outside the if the point lies outside the uh, top boundary and y greater than y max checks if the point lies outside the bottom boundary in each of these cases if any of the condition is true if the first condition is true then definitely l bit will be set if the second condition is true r bit will be set if the third condition is true bit a will set and if fourth condition is true bit b will set if the conditions are false then the corresponding bit will be set equal to zero so these are the four conditions and these conditions are known as boundary conditions so using these conditions we can clearly uh, find out the value of region code let us find it with the help of an example suppose we are given a point the point is with respect to a line a line has two endpoints it is 530 and 3020 a region of clip window is defined with left top corner at 1010 and the right bottom corner at 5050 from this it is clear that these two values are xw min and xw sorry xw min and yw min and these two values are xw max and yw max let us write them the value of xw min is equal to 10 value of yw min is equal to 10 value of xw max is equal to 50 and value of yw max is also equal to 50 so from these two points we got four values now these are the line endpoints i am going to check whether the line lies outside the window or does it lies inside the window so there are two endpoints let me take this point first so I am going to find the region code of this point. Taking the point x1, y1 as 530. So this time value of x is 5 and value of y is 30. I am going to check if this point lies outside the window or does it lies inside the window okay so let us check this with the boundary conditions so as per the boundary conditions what you have to do i have to check whether this point lies outside the left boundary does it lies outside the right boundary does it lies outside the top or bottom boundary so the four going for we are going for the first condition first condition checks if x is less than xw min value of x is 5 
and value of x w min is 10. x w min is the left boundary of the window. 5 is the value of x. So I am going to check if x is less than x w min which means 5 is less than 10. Condition is true. If the condition is true then left bit will be set equal to 1. Why? Because this is the boundary condition to check if the point lies outside the left window, left boundary. Since the condition is true, then left bit will be set equal to 1. Going for the next condition, now we, have, now we are going to check the point with the right boundary. Condition says x greater than x w max. Value of x is 5 and value of x w max is 50. So we are going to check if x is greater than x w max which means 5 is greater than 50. Condition is false. Yes, since the condition is false it clearly indicates that point does not lie outside the right boundary. It has not crossed the right boundary. So since the condition is false R bit is set equal to 0. Moving on to the next condition, we are going to check the values of y against the boundaries. We will be checking y less than y w min. This condition is used to check if the point lies outside the top boundary. Value of y is 30 and value of y minimum is 10 which is the value of top boundary. Y less than Y W min which means 30 less than 10. Condition is again false. Since the condition is false it indicates that the point does not lie above the top boundary. So above bit is also set equal to 0. Remember only if the condition is true corresponding bit will be set equal to 1. If the condition is false then the corresponding bit will be set equal to 0. Now checking for the fourth condition y greater than y w max. This is checked to evaluate whether the point lies outside the bottom boundary. So value of y is 30 and value of y w max is 50. 30 greater than 50 again the condition is false. Since the condition is false below bit is also set equal to 0. So we got the values of all the four bits. We got the value of L as 1, we got the value of R as 0, we got the value of A as 0 and we got the value of B as 0. Combining all these things and writing it in the format A, B, R, L. Here A, B, R, L format can be written. Value of A is 0, value of B is 0, value of R is 0 and value of L is 1. So this is the code for the point 530. So we were talking about the point 530 and we got the region code of 530 as 0001 which indicates that this point does not lie above, below or right of the window but this definitely lies to the left of the window. Clear? Moving on to the second point. In the figure the second point was 3020. Let us compute the region code of 30, 20. So this time our value is 30, 20 where x has a value 30 and y has the value 20. Let us check if x is less than x w min, x is greater than x w max, y is less than y w min and y is greater than y w max. When we check the conditions, well, let us check the first condition x less than x w min when we substitute the values we get 30 less than 10 condition is false so we will set l equal to 0 second condition is x is greater than x w max substituting the values we will get 30 greater than 50 again the condition is false so we set value of r equal to 0 third condition is y less than y minimum which is 20 less than 10 which again proves that the condition is false so we set the value of a equal to 0 and finally when we check y greater than y w max it results in 20 greater than 50 
which again says the condition is false and since the condition is false the value of b is also set equal to 0 so we got four bit points substituting them in the order a b r l we will get value of a is 0 value of b is 0 value of r is 0 and value of l is 0 so we got the region code as 0 0 0 0 which means that this point lies completely inside the window it is neither towards the left of the window it neither lies to the right of the window it is neither on top of the window or neither lies below the window okay so in this way using the region code we can easily identify whether a point lies exactly within the window or does it lies outside the window and even if the point lies outside the window where does it actually lie okay hope the concepts being explained over here are thoroughly understandable to all of you please keep watching the videos and support me please do give feedbacks and like comment share the video 